Hi you guys, I'm here today with a video response and this is for Carla Peterson and she's doing a 500 subby challenge over on her channel and it's called Who's Your Diva and I thought it was really cool um, and it's going to end as soon as she reaches 500 subby so you guys still have time if you want to participate. Um, I thought it was really cool the idea that she had about doing old Hollywood because you guys know I've mentioned it um, a few times. I love old Hollywood. I love the old movies and the old actors and actresses. I just love it so much. Um, so when I saw her challenge, I was like, oh, I'm sold. I got to do this because it's not very often you see something like that. So I was like, yes, I got to do it. Um, but when I seen her video, I like sent her a message saying uh, because she wanted you to do like a diva and I like the divas, you know, it's great, but like my favorite are the guys. And so I have two favorites actually. One is from way back when to like the silent film era. And one is from, you know, where you could actually hear them talking era. But I love them both. One you guys will know more than the other one. Um, so she said, yeah, you know, it's okay to do a guy. So... You know, he's my diva. He's, um, I'm sure you guys will know him like instantly as soon as you see his picture, but I just love him, love everything about him. So this is the frame that I did. Yes, as you can see, that's James Dean. And um, I took this frame right here that I got in a winning box. Um, and it's, it looks just like one of the Michaels frames, but it's not from Michaels. I'm not actually sure where it's from, um, because I didn't have it like a brand or anything that I recognized. Um, but it's actually like very heavy, like a really good quality. So I thought it was really cool and I kind of was saving it for a minute, but I decided to bust it out and use it for this challenge. Um, so the first thing I did uh, basically was cover the frame with paper and the paper actually looks like this um, and I did that on the back and then after um, I added the paper I started just going to town on it um, I put a bunch of flowers as you can see uh, I know black kind of hard to film or doesn't really film very well I should say so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I did. Um, and a lot of these, or most of them, are from Craft Supplies 1. And so I just, I love working with flowers, so I just kind of put them all over the place. And I went, obviously, with the black and white theme, which a few people have done that I've seen what they've done in their projects. Um, but it's easy to go black and white because, you know, most of the photos and stuff are like black and white. And plus I love black and white, the combination of the two colors together. I really like that. So um, I added a bunch of flowers and these butterflies right here are from Pink Paisley. Um, they're actually the kind that you can mist, but I wanted them white so I just left them as is. I added one there and there's one up there. And it's funny because like I put the paper down and then along the side right here, um, I added this black lace right here and you guys know, you know, lace has all those little holes and stuff. So, um, it took me forever to get this piece down cause I didn't, I don't, I really like, oh, it bothers me when I see glue on stuff. So if you notice like my projects, I'm always like really like, you know, making sure there's none there. Um, so it took me a while to get that down and then you know, at the end of the day, I freaking only showed like this much of it. I was like, okay, but that's what I normally do. I mean, I freaking do things and I end up covering them up and, um, but anyways, you get to still, um, still see a little piece of it. So that's okay. Um, hopefully it seems kind of bright, but hopefully, um, it's coming on my camera. Okay. The coloring wise, the lighting, I should say, it's kind of bright. It's really, really hot here in California. We're having like this heat wave right now and it's like, freaking uh triple uh degree weather it's just not fun but anyways um so i added all that stuff there's like a little key here that's from craft supplies one um these little bling pieces as you can see right there are from hobby lobby 
and I also put one of those blank pieces up here. Um, after, of course, I put the paper on, I decided I wanted to paint the frame black and then um, along the side and on the inside, which I don't know if you can tell, I um, used some black glitter, um, glitter glue. And of course, most of it's covered up. I added this ribbon right here. I just, I really like it. That was really cute. And um, I had this little piece left over right here that I just um, cut and made a little bow out of it because I just thought it was really cute. So I wanted to add a little bit more to it. So I added that there. And then I added this little um, rhinestone trim. And this is so little, it's really hard to grasp. <laughs> took me a minute to even get it glued down there, but um, it's just, it's really pretty. And you guys know I love my bling, so um, I wanted to use that. And I only had a piece of it because it came in a little package thing. Um, on here, I added this trim right here, and this actually came in a pack, this one, this trim, and this one from Michael's. And um, so I put that all around, all around the edge, and um, this trim right here, this ruffle trim, actually came with pearls on it, like spaced out. Um, and you can actually see those like down here. I left them on the bottom, but when I was finished with the project, I didn't really like the way that it looked. So I went back and snipped them all off. And I didn't want to leave it plain, so um, I put some more of this trim into the center of it. Because I wanted to have something, but not too much... Um, you know, just like something subtle. So I just put that in the center around these edges right here. So this is my frame. And let's see, like this little trim right here, I cut and made these little loops here. And then I added some more to the top. Um, it's funny because this is the second project I actually did for this challenge. Um, I started out making something else, but you know when you just aren't feeling something, you're just kind of like, uh, and I kept contemplating on it, and I was just like, I don't know. And then, like, I was like, well, I just need to do something else because I'm going to be there all day trying to think about it, but this is, so yeah, this is the second thing that I did, but I'll show you guys the first thing I did, and you can let me know what you think about it. Um, so yeah, that's the second one, and the first thing that I did was this little um, gumball machine, and it's I've had this little thing in my stash for a while, and um, I thought it was so cute when I bought it. It actually came white, so it was like perfect, um, but as you can see, like that's the picture I wanted to use. Um, so that's what I used on this. And then when I ended up not showing, like not sure what I wanted to do, I printed out bigger for that project over there. So what I did with this one was I added this trim right here um, around, and then this at um, the top, and then um, just added some. This was like a scrap piece of trim that because I save all my scraps because at some point I can use them again so um, I save that and then so it's just a leftover piece I added and then added a piece of braided trim here and around the bottom and this tr little like rhinestone trim I love this was the last piece that I had I've actually been hoarding it for a while but I thought it would just be really cute on there. So I decided to use it and it came like double like that. So um, I just thought it was really cute. And then here in the front, um, when I did the second project, I kind of just wanted it to match this one because this is what I had in mind, but I wasn't really sure, you know, when I was all done with it, if I liked it or not. Um, so, um, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> so I added these little white flowers. Um, these are just little cutout pieces from this trim right here. Um, you can see there's those bling pieces from Hobby Lobby. There's the same key that's on the frame. These little acrylic pieces. It came off a spray. Um, here's a little butterfly because I like to use butterflies. And I wanted to add one, but I didn't want it to stand out too much. So I wanted a kind of subtle look. So I did it with black, and then there's one up here that actually knocked this over before I had a chance to dry, so I have to re-glue it on there a little bit better. 
Um, and then here at the top, I wrapped the top part with the same braided trim and then added this um, trim right here. It kind of looks like a little crown, which I thought would be, you know, fitting because it was a guy. But I wasn't really sure when I was done with it if I liked that or not. But um, And then at the top, I just added another one of those blank pieces from Hobby Lobby. And then these little sprays I added on. And there's actually some here, but it's kind of tucked behind if you can see them. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Let me know what you think. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, um, I was actually really, you know, inspired to do something for the challenge. And being that I love old Hollywood so much, I made something for myself as well. So these are going to be for Carla. Um, if you don't like the little gumball machine, Carla, I won't be offended because I don't even know if I like it. So I'll send it to you anyways and you can keep it if you want. If not, you know, you can let your dog have it or something. Um, so those are those. And then the project that I made for myself um, looks like this. And these are my two favorite guys and so I used the same James Dean picture that I used on Carla's projects um, this is Rudolph Valentino he's like from way way back in the silent film era and he just I don't know what it is but I just love him and then um, you know, James Dean, they're my two favorites. I love them, but I mean, it's a lot easier to find, find like James Dean memorabilia than um, Valentino stuff, but they're my two favorite guys and my two favorite old Hollywood people, even more than the girls and whatever. I just, I love those guys. Um, so I wanted to do a project for myself as well. So I had this container that was from uh, Target. You can see the dollar spot and I only found one. And I loved it because I love the color combination and I also love bird cages. So I've had it in my craft room and I wanted to do something with it, but at the same time I didn't know because I didn't want to mess it up and you know it was the only one that I had. Um, but then at the end of the day I decided to make a pink cushion and this is really big, but it's okay because it's just gonna be like, you know, on my crafty desk or somewhere around where I work. And I wanna make some um extra pins to put in here so like I can just grab one and stick it on a project or whatever so um, that's what I made this for I use this big rosette flower right here that's just for my stash and this gorgeous um, piece right here I got um, in a swap from Rena it's so pretty I was actually gonna hoard it for a while um, but I figured since this is for me I'll use it on a project um, and then I added these pink organza flowers that are just from Hobby Lobby. I think they're really pretty. And then I added some over here, or one over here, and a couple pieces of the sweet spray that's from Craft Supplies 1. And this trim right here, I fell in love with when I saw it at Hobby Lobby, but it's like $4.99 for a yard. Um, and it's funny because when I got my um, DT package for Craft Supplies 1, the same ruffle trim minus the bling. I got in my package so you could actually make this yourself if you go and buy this um, pleated trim at Craft Supplies 1 and you could just add some like if you happen to have this trim which I don't but um, you could use like the mesh bling like the black one that has um, you know the black with the the diamond kind of look in the middle you could actually make this yourself so um, if you like that that's a good idea so I added this on the top and the bottom and then I actually put a strip across here, but it's mostly, you can see it's all covered up. So, and then I just added these two stick pins at the top. So this is a project that's just for me and um, it's gonna go on my desk. So I was just inspired by the um, challenge. So I made that for me, but um, these are for Carla. So Carla, I hope you like these. Um, I had a lot of fun and I'm glad to see like someone else liking something that I like that's not really common. I don't see a lot of people liking. So I thought it was really cool. Um, I was actually going to share with you guys like some of the movies and stuff that I had. 
and right before I went to record this video I went over I have this big like armoire thing in my living room and on the whole top section inside it's all like DVDs and stuff and I don't really watch movies that often um, like I don't really go in there that often so I went in there and I was like oh my gosh because I guess my son's been in there and he totally has like everything all mixed up because I used to have like all my movies are like specific like my stuff I have in a section and then like you know everything else goes wherever um, but he has it all mixed up and around but um, I did spot a couple of them without having to go too far so like um, I have this DVD set and this is Valentino and this one has um, you can see right here it has um, some of the movies he was in and these are, sorry for the glare, um, you know, some stills from the movies. And um, these guys think I'm crazy when I want to watch them because they're like, why are you going to sit there and watch a movie and have to read? But, like, I, I'm, like, a huge fan of reading anyway, so it doesn't bother me. But, um, yeah, they think I'm crazy. So that's, like, one of the things that I have. And I have, like, all the James Dean movies and stuff, but, you know, it would take me too long to try to find them all. Um... I bought this too um, a while, while back, and this is a tin, and it has different uh, movies from the silent era. Um, like it has, you know, these are the movies that it has. And even though I have Blood and Sand, and um, this other one, I don't care because I like the tin for one because Valentino's on it, and um, you know it comes with other movies too. So I just thought that was really cool. And wanted to share that with you guys. Because, um, yeah, I love the silent films. Anyways, I've been rambling for too long. And I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys watched it and, you know, liked what you saw. Um, so, yeah. Make sure you guys, if you're still interested, Carla's keeping her giveaway challenge open until she reaches 500 subbies. And um, I'm not sure how far she is away yet. But um, it's, a, it's fun. So, make sure you guys check it out. Thank you for watching. Bye.